Good morning, dogs. Vespa, Decca, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Docs, tonight is the first event for FAFSA and Completion Night. If you still hadn't got the list of documents for tonight, now's the time to see Mrs. Wirtz and Student Services. A reminder, this event is for migrant families only. Reminder students, the SAD Club is still selling Valentine's Day suckers until the end of this week. Orders will be taken until Friday. Using the Google link form in the chatter, the suckers will be delivered on Valentine's Day. The money must be given to Ms. Kramer in room 155 in order for the suckers to be delivered. Lastly, Fortissimo auditions will be on February 14th directly after school. All students wanting to audition will need a prepare a verse and a chorus for two contrasting songs. There will be a dance portion as well, so they should bring a change of clothes for that. Now, let's turn to sports and weather. What's up, dogs? There will be a girls' tennis call-out meeting tomorrow at 7.30 in uppercase. Please report to your community first, then attend the call-out meeting. Also, two hot dog football players, Quincy Perry and Juan Ramos, were named to the IFCA Region 4 All-Star team on Sunday. Coaches from the entire region came together in Monticello to vote on seniors for the region team. Each region will then meet in the coming weeks to select players from North-South All-Star game. Quincy finished his senior season with 49 receptions for 525 yards and three touchdowns at wide receiver. He also had 24 tackles and four pass breakups as a corner. Juan handled the kickoff and punting duties for the team this year. He averaged 48.6 yards per kickoff with three touchbacks as a punter. He averaged 41 yards per punt with a long of 68 yards and 10 punts inside the opponent's 20-yard line. Congratulations to Quincy and Juan on an outstanding senior seasons. Last but certainly not least, tomorrow is homecoming. Hopefully you dressed up as a teacher today. 20 bucks to the first person who guesses who I'm dressed up as. Anyways, tomorrow is blue and white. Show your school spirit and have fun tomorrow. The basketball team will be facing off against the North Montgomery Chargers here at home with the JV kicking us off at 6 in a varsity follow. Reminder that the theme is pink out. And another reminder that the doghouse committee will be selling pink items during lunches for everyone to wear to the game. Sunglasses are $3 a pair and all other items are $1 each. If you can't make it to the game, we got you covered right here on the Hot Dog Network in partnership with the ISC Sports Network. But if you do plan on attending, you know the drill by now. Sit in the student section. Anyways, that's all for sports. Now I'll send it to the weatherman. Hey dogs, for the weather today, it's a high of 57 and a low of 31. It's supposed to rain throughout the day as well. Today's the warmest it's supposed to be all week, so make sure you all enjoy it. That's all for weather. Now back to your hosts. Thanks, Holden. Also, students who have a hotspot provided by the school, please check your email and respond as soon as possible. Also, Frankfurt Deco's Community Service Projects provides weekend body bags to Frankfurt K-12 students. Thank you to first-year member Ian Williams for creating the Week 20 menu. And shout-out to Mr. Smart's Community Class for filling Week 21 bag body bags. 119 body bags will be sent home this weekend. Reminder, students, that tomorrow is homecoming, so make sure to wear your blue and white. For lunch today, in lines 1 and 2 is country fried steak, and in lines 3 and 4 is Nashville hot chicken with mac and cheese. A special happy birthday goes out to Eli Grasham. That's it for today's announcement. Make sure to like and subscribe. Have a terrific Thursday, dogs.